Van Vliet. Gotta create his own shot. Gets it up. Oh, Fred! At the half court buzzer. Oh my god, Fred Van Vliet! <laughs> the bank is open extra late in sacramento tonight that's what i'm talking about man let's go the toronto raptors have won oh it fucking isn't working oh, no. winner no I tested it. Oh, there it is. There it is. It's working now. Congratulations, Raptors. End that three-game losing streak. And here we go. Fat, fat, fat dub against the Sacramento Kings. 108 to 89 is your final score in the huge bounce-back game for Pascal Siakam. I always stick my neck out for this guy, and he always returns the faith by putting on a good game, and today was that game. Wow, what a performance of Pascal Siakam. Let's get the 50 likes in this one. Flight up for the Toronto Raptors win today, please. So let's get into our post-game show for today. The Raptors bounce back and finally get a win. I love it. They were so good tonight. It was a much-needed bounce-back game for the Raptors. Some great individual performances, but an even better team performance. We finally get some help from our bench. The starters play excellent. We refine that defensive identity. I don't care. It was against the Sacramento Kings. The Raptors needed this. Pascal Siakam needed this because he was spectacular. Absolutely spectacular. Pascal Siakam had 32 points, 8 rebounds on, oh my god, 10 for 12 shooting, 3 for 3 three-point shooting, 32 points on 12 shots. Are you kidding me? Gary Trent continues his great stretch of games. 8 for 17 from the field. 5 for 11 from 3. 23 points. Fred, solid. Could be better, but hey, that's fine. Ken Birch influenced so much for this team. Barnes, off night again for him. Hopefully he bounces back next one. But a lot of guys covered him up. Like Chris Boucher, who had a great game off the bench. 10 points, 12 rebounds. Finally had a productive game. Achua was solid in his role. Um... Banton was okay. Mihailuk was pretty good. We actually get some help from the bench. Let's go to the box score. Or sorry, the team stats. Raptors shoot 45% from the field, 39% from three. We love that. Great stuff there. We dominate the rebound battle. We force up some turnovers. Uh, we allow a lot. We, we commit a lot of turnovers, but we, we committed a lot in the first quarter. So for the rest of the game, we did a lot better. But the shooting and the defense was absolutely stellar from the Toronto Raptors today and we needed it we needed it three losses in a row that is the third time this season we've had a three game losing streak we 100 percent absolutely needed to bounce back for a big win in this game so see yakum a lot of you haters out there i mean you might want to go back to any comments you left on my youtube videos comments you left on my community polls comments you left on twitter a lot of you guys need to go back and, and check those because Pascal Siakam, the reality is, has been great this season other than that one game against the Utah Jazz. So, like, 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 I got to show you guys. So, in, in the recent YouTube community post that I made, I do a, typically a poll a day on my YouTube channel, uh, the main channel, not, not the clips that you're watching this on. But I do a poll every day. And this one is, what is the main reason for the Raptors' struggles over the last seven games? That was coming into tonight. 50% of the 2.3 thousand voters said Pascal Siakam. That is roughly 1,150 people saying Siakam is at fault for the seven game, the, the, the tough seven games. Of those seven games, Siakam did not feature in two. Of the five he featured in, he was on a minute restriction for two. He put up at least 20 points in two, one of which he had 25, 12 rebounds, seven assists on 65% shooting, and the one bad one. Has Dal Siakam at fault? Well, today, he shuts up the haters. It was an utterly sensational performance. He was aggressive. He had two early turnovers in the game. Two early turnovers in the game that made us question, oh, Siakam, like, he needs this bounce-back game, but, like, are we going to find it here? And he responded. 
he responded big time with a great first quarter. End of the first quarter was 13 points, and he cruises for the rest of the game. He was looking like Kevin Durant out there, dare I say, getting his points anywhere. He was hitting his threes, hitting the shots in mid-range, contested mid-range shots, creating his own shots on the fadeaway, was getting to the rim, was getting fouled. He was drawing fouls and getting to the line. It is ludicrous to blame him for the Raptors' struggles, except for that one game, yes, against the Utah Jazz. But other than that, he has been great this season, and he showed how great he is tonight, shutting up a lot of the haters, which I really like. But the team in general, it wasn't just Siakam. You know, it's not Siakam when we lose. It's not just Siakam when we win. Big contributor to the win today, but the Raptors, the defense finally looked like itself. Hounding defense, the help defense was a lot more assertive today. We were a lot more committed to closing out on shooters, a lot more committed to the rotation. Obviously, it fell apart in some places, but there was a lot more of a desire to make it work today, which is what I really liked about the performance on defense. And we rebounded the ball very well. On offense, we had so many different ways to hurt the Kings. We got the ball on the interior. Ken Burch looked good. Gary Trent was shot creating for himself. Fred Van Vliet was an excellent, excellent playmaker today. And obviously, the way Pascal Siakam played was great. So, ending off that three-game losing streak, that's three different three-game losing streaks this season. So, the Raptors got to work on bouncing back from losses because we got a tough game coming up against the Golden State Warriors on Sunday. Um, they're the best team in the NBA right now. They've got the best player in the NBA right now in Steph Curry. Um, arguable. We, we got to come out and we got to have a good game against the Warriors or else it could get ugly. But hey, if we play like this, we got the defense. Fred is a pretty good matchup for Steph Curry. I mean, Steph is going to be Steph, but Fred has historically played well against Steph Curry defensively. So let's hope for more of that. And let's see what we can do in that game against the Warriors because the Raptors have the ability to surprise. But let's not get too ahead of ourselves from one game, especially against the Kings. This was a great step in the right direction and i'm very pleased the raptors showcased that tonight let's hope for more of that let's hope pascal siakam maintains his consistency draymond is going to be a tough matchup but siakam he he does tend to do okay against draymond in those matchups but um you know let's let's appreciate this win the raptors needed it the siakam needed this game and i needed this win i was starting to really have my doubts but we really needed this win to 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 show off and just feel good about Go into the weekend feeling good about this win. Go to bed tonight feeling good about this win. And um, yeah, I'm pleased with the way that went down. What a win for the Raptors. Thank you so much for watching. If you want a post-game show for every single game, the immediate post-game show, subscribe to this channel. And if you want to see a more in-depth breakdown, you can check out the Amateur Sports video coming out tomorrow regarding this game. Make sure to subscribe to that channel if you're not already. And subscribe to this one for a post-game show. Like I said, let's get the 50 likes in this one. Flight up. For the Toronto Raptors win today, please. And we'll see you again next time for another post-game show. And we got a cool clip coming out tomorrow. A highlight from the cooking stream I did a couple weeks ago. Make sure you're checking that out as well.